with everything going on now, with you know, people being quarantined and shops closing down and all that kind of stuff, it's gonna be hard for you guys to get a haircut. You know, a lot of you guys still want to look good, still gotta go out there and get stuff done. A lot of you guys still gotta go to work. So, doing a little short video on a couple of things that you can do to kind of stay afloat until the time uh, comes to where your shop or your barber or whoever you go to is back open. Got a couple of tools that I'm gonna show you, none professional stuff you can go get at Walmart today. I recommend you guys doing pickup. So I'm gonna start going on that. One of the things I gotta do, and you gotta do at home too, is make sure that you have your temperature is set at 69 or 70. Uh, I keep it around 72 at the house, but a lot of the times when you're in the bathroom, you've got the door closed, you're working on yourself, you got a cape on, uh, it's your first time doing it, you're nervous, you're gonna start sweating, it's gonna get uncomfortable. Sweat makes it difficult for you to do the haircut properly, all that kind of stuff. So drop the temp down, stay cool, stay relaxed. So I got the AC on going. Trust me, man, get it done. It's not always gonna turn out like you want it the first time. So if you usually get a zero, try a one or a half guard. As far as the tools go, I'm gonna show you what I got. I got this wall, uh, you buy it at Walmart, and I believe it's uh, $40, but it does come with all the guards that you need. I don't have those with me, but it's the half guard and the one and a half. These are from a different set, the ones that this one comes with. It's a nicer set, it's metal clips. I have those at the shop. So get you one of these, also comes with some scissors. I got a little side kick. Uh, wall uh any trimmer any trimmer works honestly uh, as long as you get a, a andes or a wall most of the time they'll get the job done especially if it's something temporary people are going to be out of work shops are going to be out for two three four weeks i recommend you just doing the taper don't get into doing all the side fade and all this because most likely you will mess up it's not going to look good you're going to have to wear a hat i'm going to show you how to do light beard work and then a light taper. Don't go on and give yourself a ball fade now because you're gonna mess it up. And it's gonna look bad and you're gonna blame me for it. I'm gonna start off with the beard, right? If you see down here, you know, you can still see kind of where the line is at. I don't get this lined up up top. It's just my preference. If you do do it, don't mess with it because what's gonna happen, especially if you have a good beard, you're gonna knock that line lower and lower and lower, you're gonna end up going from having a beard up here to having a beard down here, and then you're gonna be mad at your barber. Get yourself a little comb. Uh, it does come when you buy the clipper. I usually always start in the middle and then work my way out. Sometimes I'll start out here. Just kind of look at the shape straight up like this, and you can either start this side or this side. So I usually start in the middle. And what you're gonna see is that a lot of your trimmers, they're not gonna leave it razor sharp, right? So you're gonna have to do this motion, this motion, and you'll have to go like this sometimes. So make sure that you draw the line first, and then below that you can do whatever motion is needed to get the hair off. So I do it in sections. So it'll be like this, then here, then here, then here. Yeah. So as you see, what I'm doing is that I'm hitting and then dropping, hitting and then dropping, hitting, dropping. So what that does is that here, marking that line and then you're cutting everything down that way you create an even line so pretty simple for the bottom part use your brush get all the hair out the way and then go back over it again see it's one part down so just keep in mind i am a barber these aren't the tools that I use at the shop. There are other tools that you can use to make it easier. I wanna make a video just so you guys at home 
can do it with the simplest of things that you can go get at Walmart. If you do go get it, download the Walmart app, order it for pickup, get there, pick it up. Don't go into stores if you don't have to. Comb that beard down. It's not really much that I have. I don't like to keep it bushy because mine really doesn't grow in full up here. Even really giving yourself like a lineup, it's gonna make a huge difference from what you already got. Get in there and cut. Like that, you see? Just cut those little mustache hairs. Get that from hanging over. But now to do the top, you can always go put your lip in a little bit like this. Now, when you are going in, don't go in like that, right? Check your point where you're gonna stop and stop right there. So moving your limbs around like I was doing, like that, it's gonna help out a whole lot. It's gonna look funny, but make sure you do it. Now you have top mustache lined up, your bottom beard lined up, and that somewhat gives it already a, a decent look. Another thing you'll need is that you're gonna need a mirror. So makeup mirror, mirror from Walmart, whatever mirror you need to get. Little part back here, you're gonna be able to do that by getting your camera, doing that. real simple before you actually start doing it with the trimmer off just get comfortable with your hand movement because when you're working in front of a mirror and you're having to use both hands you're gonna get confused as to what to move your hand and all that kind of stuff so we're gonna blend the beard down do a couple things here and there Go ahead and get a little bit of uh, water. And if you have long hair up top, go ahead and get it wet down just so it can get out the way. What I usually do is I usually use the mirror when I'm hinging myself up because I have a better view and it's right here in my face. So get your mirror, look at your edge up and make sure you kind of know where it's at and use a mirror and use your trimmer up close. That way it's gonna be a lot easier. Edges are hard even when I do it on myself. If you could ask my team, there's been times that I've pushed it back, times that have been slanted, you know. It's normal even for, for barbers, but the thing that I like to do is I like to do the corners first. So the corners first, and it'll kind of give me a guide. Watch, always watch the top of your blade because you don't want to be cutting like this, but you're way up here, right? You, it can be straight here, but you're going to have it way up here. So just make sure that that bottom blade is in line with the top of your edge. Uh, if it is more, if it's easier for you, start with top. So make sure whenever you are doing edge ups, even when you, you know, even for barbers or whatever, make sure that you lower your, your forehead. Don't go like that because that'll mess your, your edge up up. So make sure you drop your forehead, make the skin even, and then go in there and brush your hair off a little bit. I'll start at the middle and then work my way to the side. And as you're going to the side, watch the angle of the trimmer. And as the hair moves around, just go ahead and brush it. Get it out the way.
as you can see, this already looks a little bit more decent than just walking around with everything just out of there. So if you wanted to stop here, that'd be fine. Just set the little edge up around the sides, around the top, the bottom, simple tools. I'm gonna go ahead and line up the back and then I'm gonna give myself a little taper and then blend the beard in. Hold your ear with one finger. And I'm keeping the same motion that I was using down here on the beard. I hit and I slide. With this one, you'll hold it with your ring finger. You'll hold it here. If you see what I was doing, I was sliding up and down. My hair grows a different way back here. So I have to move it so it gets every hair. If I just do this, hit and pull, hit and slide, it's not gonna get all the hairs and you're gonna have a bunch of little hair sticking back up there. So also make sure you clean up around here, around here and in the back. What I like to do with my beard, I knock this down quite a bit. Uh, so what I'll just do is I'll just go with my trimmer for my clipper and I'll close it and I'll keep it right there where your sideburn would be and then I'll notch it halfway down and go down a little further and then go up right here a little bit and then bring it down just a little bit more go up right there a little bit go down here some more and then just open it all the way up go down a little more number one close it continue that blend so it's blended from a no guard into what's already there so it's just kind of giving it a a little cleanup, not really doing any drastic changes so it doesn't, you know, mess up the form or make it difficult for your barber whenever you go about it. And this part is done. What I did is I used zero closed to the open just right here. And as I'm doing it, I'm flicking out. That way I'm not creating any harsh lines. What I did there is, you see my skin moving when I have the clipper on my face, hold it. That way you'll be able to blend it a little easier. And with these tools that you get at Walmart, I didn't get this one specifically at Walmart, but you'll get something similar to this. It's not gonna hit it like you need it to be at the first time. Keep going over it, keep going over it, keep going over it. As long as you guys are able to just clean up a little bit and not look homeless, you know, we'll be back out there. We'll be able to help you guys get you know, to look and write again. So do these little simple things. Make sure you guys aren't doing too much to where you have to go bald. I suggest you don't even go in here and start giving yourself a fade. Trim the little bottoms up, line up your little sideburns if you have to. Follow these little edge ups techniques. And you'll look decent uh, for the next couple of days. And we start here. And I stop to about where my sideburn will be. And I go down a little bit more. I open it halfway. I go down more. Then I open it all the way. Get the number one and then close it all the way. And open it halfway. Open it all the way. On this side, it looks like I'm gonna need this one and a half guard. Set one and a half, do it all the way closed. Open it a little halfway. Open it all the way. 
closed all the way to that. Drop it a little bit, go up, drop it a little bit more, go up, drop it all the way, and pull out as you do it so you blend into whatever's, what's already there. See that? This side, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I don't think I did a good job on this side, so I'm gonna go ahead and redo it. Drop it a little bit. Drop it a little bit more. Drop it all the way. Keep it simple, guys. You don't have to do a whole bunch of stuff to it. Just make sure you're not looking, you know, all messy. Uh, give you a quick lineup, quick little trim. It'll, you know, hold you off for another week, two weeks. Some of you, three or four weeks. I don't know. Repeat as needed. This can get long. As long as you guys are taking care of the little lines, these little parts right here, your edge up and your back, you'll look decent. Just don't go into cutting all this and try to run guards if you're not familiar with it. You can. Um, it is hard. Most of the time you won't get it your first time. It's going to look rough. Then again, you'll be at home, so you can practice. But check out some of the other uh, little things I'll be putting on here in the future just in case this lasts a long time and I'll give you guys some more techniques.